So a full schedule for the Chicago Bears for this upcoming season is out there. So we're going to run through this here. And we're going to talk about every game. We're going to say which team we expect is going to win. So I'm basically going to give you a prediction for the Chicago Bears, what games they're going to win, and their overall record for the year. It should be noted, though, the Bears are in a very interesting situation. They drafted Justin Fields. They've got a general manager in uh, Ryan Pace and head coach Matt Knight that could be on their last legs here in Chicago. They might be far after the season. So they might be pressured into playing Justin Fields maybe earlier than most other rookie quarterbacks. So we'll see how this plays out. I mean, they're in a situation where they could have potentially a star young player like Justin Fields next year instead of picking in the top five or six selections in the draft, even though they were a, a playoff team this past season. But to start off, week one, Sunday Night Football, Los Angeles Rams. That's going to be a good matchup. Week two, Cincinnati. Week three, Cleveland. Week four, Detroit. Five, Las Vegas. Six, Green Bay. Seven, Tampa Bay. Eight, San Francisco. Nine, Pittsburgh. That's a brutal stretch. Finally, you hit your bye week at week 10. That's probably the perfect spot to have it. Baltimore, week 11. At Detroit for Thanksgiving, week 12. Arizona, week 13. Green Bay, Sunday Night Football. Week 14, Minnesota, Monday Night Football, week 15. Seattle, week 16. The New York Giants, week 17. And you finish it up with Minnesota in week 18. So you finish up with a divisional game. Week 1, playing the Rams. I, I think you're going to lose. I think the Rams are one of the best teams in the NFL. So you're going to lose there. You'll beat Cincinnati. You'll lose to Cleveland. You'll beat Detroit. Ooh, Las Vegas is a difficult one. Uh, that's really a toss-up, though, depending on who depending on who Chicago's quarterback is. Because you have Justin Fields, and he's playing well, versus Andy Dalton. You know, it's kind of a bit of a toss-up. I'll say you lose for now. I'll be more conservative. I'll be more conservative here, more critical. Uh, you're going to lose to Green Bay. You're going to lose to Tampa Bay. You're going to lose to San Francisco. Pittsburgh, you really don't know. I don't know what the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to look like this year. I really don't. Uh, I'll say you lose, just because I am a Steelers fan, and Pittsburgh does have a really good defense. By week, you're going to lose to Baltimore. You're going to beat Detroit on Thanksgiving. You're going to beat Arizona in week 13. You'll beat Minnesota in week 15. Lose to Green Bay week 14. Lose to Seattle week 16. Week 17, the Giants. That's another difficult one. Uh, I'm going to say you'll win that one because I've given you bad odds in our situations. And I'll say you split with Minnesota and lose week 18. So that's a total of six wins. You're going to go 6-11 and 11 if I just go off the cuff here. And just look at how I think it's going to play, play out. Yeah, 6-11, and 11, that's the new 17-game schedule. That works out right. That's the math. <laughs> but, yeah, so 6-11. and 11, I mean, you'll probably be picking in the top 10 again, which is good and bad. It means you're probably going to have a new head coach and general manager, but it also means that you are going to have a foundation for a very good team moving forward. Except for the fact that, I forgot, you traded your first-round pick away next year to the New York Giants. So, actually, you're not going to be picking in the top 10 next year. I don't really know how to end this on a positive note. I don't think there is one if you're Chicago right now. You just got to hope that maybe you get a 9-8 season or something like that and make it into the playoffs. That's probably the best you can do.